Hey, how's it going? Today, we're doing some breeding. So it's been a very, very long time since I've done any vanilla breeding. I've been using S Plus and the Dino Storage mod with the Soul Traps for so long, I kind of forget how it works. So, I figured we'd do it on camera. I was gonna do it off camera, but it's, uh, it's kind of a good thing to learn, right? There's a lot of new people to ARC, a lot of new people on the channel. So I'll kind of show you what we have. I started off with two more of the Sabertooths. Now these are not the ones from the last video. I went ahead and got rid of them. I had to change all my settings to kind of work with recordings. So the mature time is a lot faster as well as the kind of like the imprints and stuff, right? Now I didn't change the amount of stats you get from imprints. All that I uh, changed was how much they get per imprint. That way it kind of matches to where I still have a chance to mess it up, right? And not get a full imprint on some of the dinos. But for the most stuff like these, it's only going to take one imprint. Stuff for like Udys and Rex, it stuff takes multiples and you can mess it up if you don't get it done in time. So it's not really, uh, not really too much different, it just kind of speeds it up some. So, one thing that we need to talk about is, this is a female. That's the one we tamed uh, first. I got some points into her, and somebody left me a comment too about, these are not the points to go by because I did put some in there when we were kind of messing around. It turns out, I looked back on my last video, we had 1350 on the health, and I think it was 242 on the damage. So even though this one was higher level than our good male, uh, the male was, a, I think, a one, level 100, right? Whenever we tamed it. This one I shot too many times with darts, so it brought the taming efficiency down, I think, around 82% whenever we finally got it tamed. So it kind of works out. So, like I said, 1350 on the health for that one, and 242 damage. This one is also 1350, but it's 248. So it works out, man. They're, they're fairly the same, so we should get the same stats for the most part on these. Now this one is an extra one that we got. It has the, uh, kind of the colors I like, man. Looks fantastic, dude. So we're trying to get some of those colors mixed in today, so we're doing a little bit of everything. We're trying to get some good little ones. We can have a imprinted male and female, and then I want to get the colors from this one over onto another one. And that'll be our cave one that we use. So right now, you need some food. Holy crap, I need to watch that. They're not on the feeding trough yet. But as you can see, the mature timer's going up pretty fast. It's not too bad. I think it's roughly 15 or 20 minutes for these guys to fully mature. And like I said, for the Sabres, it's only going to be one imprint. I did some testing with some UDs, just as I spawned some in. And test it out to see, make sure I could still get stuff worked out. And I think it's like 10 or so imprints I got to do on those guys. And they take a very long time still to raise up. But that's something we'll be doing later on. The egg hatching does work with the ACs we have out here. So we don't need all the other ones that we have, I don't think. At least for UDs and Rex. So kind of a good thing. You are ready for another one. Let's move these guys forward. I know it's a ton of information right at the start of a video, but it's took me <laughs> it took me so long to get everything figured out with the new the new settings for the breeding. Stay there, stay there. You're right. You're stuck in the ground. Try coming over this way. Ah, dude, I do not want to put them into a cryo. It's gonna kind of mess it up a little bit. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's pick you up. I left you in here too long. You got stuck in the floor. Throw you back out over here. There we go. There we go. Nice, man. Nice. Get you out in the sun where I can see you. So the stats on this one so far are going to be 1350. Oh, we got the good stats on it. It's a female too. Oh, dude. I didn't even look at these. I pretty much got the, uh, the settings right. And then came in. Bred one of each, and then left them out here, and then waited to do recording. So I didn't even check the stats on these. That is fantastic, man. So, we'll use this one for breeding, for sure. And then for you, you're another female. And you got the same stats, too. So we got the good stats for the damage from the male on both of these. Looks like we got all the same stats on them, right? I mean, food and oxygen doesn't matter. Stamina is 720. Oh, we got the lower stamina on this one. Ah, dude. That is really, really low, man. Oh. But we got the main color, so we'll still use this one for breeding. And try to get the stamina moved over. If so, that is going to be the perfect one for us. And then let's check you for some food. I don't want anybody dying off, man. I'm hoping to get one good one <laughs> by the end of this video. Good one with the colors as well, too, right? That's kind of a main thing. Drop you in there. I need to put some meat into there for when they start getting on the feeding trough. And then I need to check on... Oh, yeah, the turtle legs. Yep, 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 yep. Look, they've been piling up, man. They've been piling up like crazy. No telling how many have spoiled along the way either. Gonna be using those for some kibble. So I'm hoping with the imprints... Ah, uh, dude. I'm hoping that the... 
stuff they require is not going to be any of the higher level kibble. We can only make the regular, like we've been doing. So if they want something like superior or the extraordinary or anything in between, I don't know all the flavors, we're going to have a bad time. <laughs> because I am not putting them into a soul trap or a uh, cryo to try to bypass that. Let's turn on breeding for these guys again. Is the mail just turned off? I think so. It is. We'll get another little one out of these guys, and if we can get a male one with some good stats, and maybe these colors, and at least with a good stamina, then we can work with this one, and this one here, and try to get a set for the, the other stat, right? Then we just have to get the stamina moved on, and the health, and the damage, and everything, and we should be kind of good to go. Shouldn't take too long. We do got the gestation period, and how long are you for six minutes? And we can do the imprint in four on you. So, all right, give me a few minutes. We'll do the imprint on these guys, and that should be ready right after that. Hopefully, like I said, we can get some good imprints on these guys, because it's only one we get. So, if it's something that we don't have, it's going to be just a loss, and we'll kill off that one. And try to, uh, try to go from there, man. Colors are fantastic on these guys. All right, so we got a little over a minute and a half on these. I had to pick up this one because the timer for the imprint was going to kind of conflict with those. We need to make one more saddle. That way we can go ahead and pull that one forward whenever we need to grab the little one. <laughs> it's it's a problem sometimes. They get stuck, man. They get stuck. So let's do this. We should have all the stuff we need for this. I'm hoping. Possibly, maybe. Let's see, we're going to need quite a bit of fiber. Ooh, do we have enough? We do. And we need... Oh, man, the hide. 1,500 on the hide. And then what else was it? Some metal ingots. Alright, let's make this... Oh, it's in the smithy. For some reason, I thought it was in our inventory. Alright, we'll slow walk over here. We need to hurry up, though. Just put it all in there. Just put it all. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. One saddle, please. If I miss this imprint, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Or not imprint, but the uh, little ones. So, I looked on our other video from the taming of the first one. We need to get our stamina at 980 as well. That's kind of the default. So we kind of need to, uh, that one's at 720, or maybe the one I have in the cryo is 720. Almost. Nice, we got half a, half a minute. So yeah, we need to get the stamina from this one moved over. 980 is kind of what we're going for. So 1350, 980, and 248. Yeah, 248. That'll be the main stats, and that'll be all the good stuff from both the parents. Tell you what, let's go ahead while we're waiting and throw Junior back out. Grab a little bit more of this. We're gonna have to quickly grab one, imprint it. Yep. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, move it out of the way. Out of the way. Imprints, you're good. Same with you. Give everybody some food so nobody dies. And you as well. Alright, guys, over here, man. Over here. Nobody getting stuck in the floor, please, and thank you. We're almost ready for our imprints on these two, so we definitely got to hurry up. It's a time thing, man. <laughs> I hate doing more than one at a time. All right, you stay there. And you stay there. 43 seconds. Then a minute and a half. That is kind of perfect timing. We can do this one, and then do that one. So how are we looking on stats here? Oh, we got everything! Oh, it's a male, too! So we got the 1350 on the health, the 980 on stamina. And then the damage is 248. I'm not too sure what the weight was on the original female. Doesn't really matter too much. 340 is fine. It's just for a cave. The only thing we're missing on this is some of the, the colors, right? It looks like we got the stripes, too, on this one from this one. Looks like it instead of those stripes. Kind of cool. I like the colors on that one. We will deal with that one if we have to. I would just really like to get this one if we can. Fantastic color pattern. Cuddle. I like it. So that one's good to go. We will probably go ahead and do some breeding with this one just to... Probably with that one, because that's a female. Has the uh, perfect colors, and that one's a male with the perfect stats. So those two mix. It'll be a good day. What are you going to want? Probably not too much. Double check our food. Oh, this one's horrible. Oh, dude, it's got... <laughs> it's got 400 health. 220 stamina. 248. So all we got on this one is the damage. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. We're not going to need it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It happens. Yep, I know, Junior. 
Don't run off. Don't run off. It's fine, man. You're fine. Look, you have the good stats. You have nothing to be worried about. You are the perfect one. I mean, other than the colors. What? It's not your fault. Tinto berry. We got those. It's kind of weird, man. We, I was wondering if we were going to have some berries that they were going to want, even though they're meat eaters. Apparently they do. Not too sure how I feel about having a saber tooth that wants berries, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Everybody likes some berries, a little bit of vegetables. It's good for your health. All right, let's drop those back off. Put this back down here. And I think we're kind of set. Let's go ahead and disable mating on you. Disable mating on you. Disable it on you. Just for the moment till we figure out what we want. So this is the female. Female. Yeah, so we want this one and this one. Let's get rid of this one. We can still use it for some cave runs if we have to. Maybe for some leveling around here. Oh, wait, we got the imprint too. So the imprint went from 1350 up to 1620. Still the same on the stamina. And then damage went up from, I think it was 248 or 242 up to 297. So that's not too bad. Movement speed is uh, 150, uh, 152. So, like I said, we can still use that around here for clearing stuff out, or if we get into a bad situation. I'm thinking about actually running as a pack with some sabers. Maybe. I don't like to most of the time because you usually get one stuck on the terrain or something like that, or it doesn't follow you. But seeing as how we're doing a one life playthrough, it might kind of work out to have maybe the one more riding plus two extras, just for the extra damage. And we might use a whole pack of these guys to take out that 120 Alpha Rex over there. It'd be kind of neat, man. It'd be kind of neat. All right, let's grab this. Let's move you over here for the moment. We'll save these just in case we mess up somehow with our breeding. And we can make some more. All right, right here, man. Right here. Enjoy the water. It's a nice day, dude. Out of the sun. Nice and closed in. Good breeze coming through. Alright, hang tight right there. I am so glad we grabbed that one with the good colors, too. It was like a level 10, I think. <laughs> it's only a 14 now, whenever we tamed it. How's your food, Junior? Absolutely empty. Alright, let's get rid of this stuff. Not too worried about it. Alright, so... You're good, and you're good. Let's move you up here. We'll just leave it right there. We're going to move this one out of the way. We'll put it up on the deck over here. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just put it on the side. And then when Junior right here is raised up, we'll go ahead and do the breeding with this one and that one. And if we're lucky, if we're very, very lucky, we'll get all of these stats and the colors from that one, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> It'll be a nice breeding video. We have eggs like crazy for kibble. I'm wanting to get a UD here pretty soon, just so that we can start the process of breeding those. Like I said, it takes, I think it's like, I think it's around 10 imprints on those guys to get raised up. So we need it for the kibble as well. Our vegetables and stuff are doing very, fairly well. Words are hard sometimes. And not too bad. We got a stack there already, and then... Stack and a half. I think you can do three stacks of these before they get full and stop producing. The berries I've cleaned out a couple times. So they're empty now and still producing. How is... It's all done. I need to put some more in there. I'll take those. Thank you. I appreciate your service. Close the door. I left it open again. Look, look. It happens, man. It happens. Junior got out. It's like when the door's not open, he'll stay on the berry bushes. As soon as I leave it open, he goes right outside. It's kind of... <laughs> I mean, I would too, right? I dropped some eggs off. We're getting good on kibble there, so not too bad. I need to make some more up here soon. All right, I will see you when this guy's ready. Gonna be a few minutes still, right? Yep. A few more minutes. All right, so Junior here is about ready for an imprint. We need to go out and get some more of the meat and stuff. There's a Bronto over there, a lot of the trikes. Maybe we'll take out the one right there that we're gonna just keep for around base. Oh, go on a walk. Easy. Perfect. Along here, Junior. Nice long walks on the beach. Up, he's stuck. Did he get the imprint? He did. How oh, nice. All right, let's see what the final stats will be for this one. Seems I was got all the perfect numbers. Over here, Junior. All right, hang tight there. 
So we're going to have 1620 on the health, 980 on the stamina, 297 on the damage, 152 movement speed, and 408 on the weight. That's not bad, man. That should be fine for all of our gear and stuff that we need to take into the caves. So that will work out. How is our food over here? It's pretty much all the meat that I got left. I tell you what, they are going through meat like crazy, man. Holy crap, dude. All right, let's do this. Let's... I mean, the saddles are about the same. I was going to say we'll take the better stat saddle, but this one will be fine. We'll use a 53. Look, all right, we need to turn off the mating on the turtles. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy here. There we go. Nope, I just... Look, I want the eggs, man. The eggs. I don't... Look, the eggs. The tails, dude. The tails. Even the short little stubby ones. There we go. There we go. I like it. Let's throw these in the refrigerator. All right, so that's good there. Like I said, I'll make some of that up. Let's take this one out, do a little bit of harvesting. We'll come back, turn on the grill, have a short little barbecue. We should be good to go. It kind of works out here. Like I said, the uh, the other creatures don't walk around here in the water, which is kind of nice. I mean, nothing's aggressive. I'm sure that some carnos and stuff would, but the trikes and stuff don't. So we're doing, I think it was around 140 on our damage, which isn't, I mean, it's not too bad at all for being... Base stats, 112. Close enough. Yep, 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 yep. Do not stun me, please. You have a friend around here. Not sure what happened to him. Let's put points into damage. Kind of see how that scales. That's going to make it so nice for harvesting up the hide and meat for sure. I'm kind of scared seeing how much we're going through with just these sabers on meat. Whenever we start doing bigger stuff, like the UDs. Uh, dude, it's going to be, it's going to be horrible, man. Speaking of horrible, we got two Brontos over here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we got another trike, too. Fantastic. Everybody has friends. <laughs> cool colors on this one. I'm not a fan of green. That looks kind of neat, though, man. The green with the blue, it's kind of like a different color green. It's like yellow green. What level are you before we go attacking stuff? 70. What, I'll just grab the egg. Another trike, too. 70 and an 80. <laughs> this is gonna go horrible, man. Look, I took it, and I'm gonna eat it. Now, the thing is, we have to kill these guys off. We cannot take them back to base. They will destroy everything. Okay. Maybe doing two at once wasn't the, uh, the best plan. I should tame one for getting berries, but, I mean, we got the greenhouse, right? It kind of grows everything that we need anyways. That was kind of the point of making it with the berry bushes as well as the crops. I think whenever we go to the next map, which will be Scorched Earth, we're going to do a very tiny greenhouse. Now, I know, I know, I always say we're going to be building small. We never do. But I don't think over there we're going to mess with berries and stuff. We'll just do the crops themselves in there. I want to see about a different design. One that's kind of small. Maybe we'll actually attach it to the base. I have a base that I built over there on the Scorched Earth series, right? Oh, man, it was fantastic. Had everything in one. Pretty nice. It's kind of a grind getting all of the... Adobe and stuff made up, but need to watch our health on the saber too. There we go. There's one down. Only doing 12 damage to us, but it kind of adds up over time, especially whenever you have two. We got some points. We got four. Let's do it all in the damage. It'll help out. Yep, yep, yep. Junior, look. Stop celebrating. 125. We're getting up there. If we can get up around 200 or so, oh, dude, we will be golden for caves. Uh, I mean, of course, we need some more health for sure. That's uh, that's a given. There we go. There we go. And then we haven't got any mutations either. I mean, we've only been doing a little bit of breeding. But once we get our good stats on the male and female, I do want to try to get some mutations. Please do not kill off this, this saber. If we lose it, it's not that big of a deal. I definitely want to see how mutations will go. It's, uh, it's kind of slow dealing with those sometimes. All right, let's give you <laughs> a little bit more health for sure. A little Trillabite. Trillabite? Trillamite? Let's get the name confused. Come on, man. Come on. Shake and bake. Don't worry, you're safe for now. Need to heal up. Is that guy? He's got the biggest creature. Had to spawn on the smallest island. Boy, I tell you what. They're not bright. What level are you? 55. You can wait. You can wait. 
I still want to do a little renovation and get rid of this and put in the bigger door. That's that's coming here soon. Don't worry. We got other stuff going on right now, though. We definitely need to get on the dino breeding and stuff like that and the cave runs, too. All right, let's drop some stuff off. We'll let Junior rest for a bit. He is not looking good at all. Throw you in there. All right. It's quite the first trip out. Let's leave him over here. Well, he'll eat off that feed trough. Let's put him up here. Take that. How are we looking here? Not too bad. We need to get some more meat for sure. We'll drop a couple stacks in there once it's finally cooked up. Check on this guy. He should be just about ready if he's not. Oh, you are. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's try to get some little ones. See where we're at in life. And I want to build a switch. As soon as we get the breeding going on those guys, or waiting for the gestation, I want to put a light switch on that. I think it should still attach to the generator. That way we can turn these off. We don't need them on now. They're kind of loud. Yeah, you guys should be good. See if we actually got stuff for it. I got a blueprint, so I don't have to unlock it with our Ingram points. This one here. So we need paste, electronics, and metal ingots. We should have all that in here. A little bit of paste. Literally just one. I'll take a short stack there and just leave it over here. Glad I wasted all these extra ACs. Alright. That is good. Let's put this back where it goes. And I'm thinking once we do the mind wipe, when we go to Scorched Earth, I'll kind of wait to unlock stuff until we start picking up blueprints. I want to try to get a Pterodon, kind of first off, that way, I'm talking like we're going to make it over there. <laughs> that way we can go ahead and get some blueprint drops and not have to worry about unlocking everything. So I think, I could be wrong, we put that there. I need to set a pin, right? We need, let's just do... Don't tell anybody my pin code. It doesn't work, right? It doesn't. Let's pick it up. I thought if it was attached to the same thing that that's sitting on, it would turn them on and off. Hmm. Might need to play with that some. Let's let's try it again. Well, let's. Right, because it's connected through the foundation and everything. Let's do something. Let's make this... Well... What if it'll work right here? It's deactivated, but it's still powered. Does it need to be attached all the way up there at the generator itself? I don't mess with these things too often. I'm kind of uh, kind of new to it. Wait, I don't want to pick it up. I'm doing something wrong, I know. Try this again. No, not working. I can't pick it up either. Hmm, we'll have to see. I have to work it out. Maybe I need to put one of the boxes higher up. And have it attached to that. I thought as long as it's attached through the foundation and pillars and stuff, that it would turn it on and off. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. Normally, whenever I mess with these, it's for, like, the dragon trap. For getting milk and everything. And it's all done on foundations. So the pillars might be messing it up. I don't know. Not that big of a deal. Just thought it would be something kind of neat to have. Alright, it is getting towards the evening time. We'll get these little ones out. I will see what the stats are. And then hopefully we can kind of get it raised up. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, he's up front. I was going to say, did I not leave a saber right here? He's up front. Let's take some meat and drop it off. Leave you in there. Let's fill these up while we got some meats. And drop some out here. We'll put a couple stacks of them. I know, I know, there's no fish for the berry, he'll be fine, I will feed him when he needs it. We're not gonna have him for too long anyways, but he's still doing pretty good. He's got 7,800 on his food, so it should, uh, 
Should last a few minutes. Junior, you okay? He's healing up. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. We'll take him out and kill that Bronto off here in a few minutes. I don't like him being that close. Kind of scary, man. Alright, the moment of truth. Do we get lucky and get all the perfect stats and colors on one? Probably not. <laughs> but you can hope that, right? You can hope for it. Alright, there we go. Looks like we got not the colors. Give me some food. Stats are looking very good. It's a female. Okay, so we got all the perfect stats on a female. And that's a perfect stats on the male. So we will go ahead and do breeding with this one as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one on as well. It's only a minute in between. Just so that we have the chance to possibly get some of the good colors. Like I said, the colors aren't a make or break thing. We're kind of dealing with stats here is the, uh, is the main point. So this one for sure will be our... Our cave runner here, at least. Let's go ahead and get you over here, Junior. It's a little short, stubby legs. Don't trip on the steps. You coming? Come on, buddy. There you go, man. There you go. All right, right there. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Nice, man. Nice. Are you... Okay, you're good. Awesome. All right, well, like I said, I'm going to let that one kind of run for a few minutes. I will come back when this one is fully raised up and imprinted. And we'll see what the final stats will be on our cave runner. Ah, uh, dude, I'm so excited, man. It's still not bad colors, though. Looks pretty decent. I like it. All right, so this guy's almost ready for his imprint. And this guy should be about ready for a little one here. Yep. Eight seconds. Ah, uh, dude, I hope. I had to get rid of one of them already. It had... <laughs> it was bad all around. Had all the bad stats. Had the bad colors. It just didn't work out. There we go. Yep. Don't have the good colors on this one. How are we looking on stats, though? Before I put the food in. Stats are good. We'll keep it for a backup. Maybe for our little army. So that'll work there. What are you going to want for... Imprint. Jerky. Okay, I have that. We've gotten lucky not had anything that we don't have yet. Wait, is it the prime jerky or regular? I think it's regular jerky. It's got Junior following us, too. Nice, nice. Come over here, man. Get you down here. We'll save you for later. I don't think we'll get the colors anytime soon, but I am going to go ahead and leave those guys on breeding, and this one is a female, so that'll work out. It does have the good stats, right? Not sure about the weight, but it doesn't really matter too much. It just has the health, the stamina, and the damage, which are the main things anyways. So we'll keep this one, use it for breeding, and then we could actually use this one as well. Go and take these out. You don't need that anymore. Put it in here. So we'll do that. So the final stats for our cave runners are going to be 1620 on the health and then 980 on the stamina. Damage will be 297 and 152 movement speed. Now if we get mutations, we get mutations. I'm going to pretty much just leave these guys over there uh, once that one gets raised up. This one needs a little bit more on the maturity and just let them all kind of run, right? As I get some that are better or possibly with the good colors, I'll change them out. These guys here, we can kind of get rid of all of them. Let's just... Um, do this. I kind of like with S Plus how it has the Dino Kill Tool. Kind of helps out a lot with this, but we don't need these guys anymore. Give us a little bit of hide and a little bit of meat back, too. Oh, wait. The uh, little one go running? It happens sometimes. It'll take off and go way far away. How much health do you have, man? Holy crap, dude. There we go. Give me all this back. We'll throw it in the grill. That'll clear this out. I need to get some more saddles made. I don't think I have the primitive ones unlocked, do I? Oh, I do! Oh, I didn't think I wasted points on that. I should grab a couple more of those just to... put on these guys so I can move them up. Wait, let's turn off... Mating still on? Let's back you up a little bit. We'll leave it on, actually. Let's go ahead and just let that run. Let's grab two more saddles. And then we should be good to go for the day. Let's, um... Let's do this. Put you in there. Drop off you. We're gonna need... Oh, we're out of fiber. How much do we have left over here? Not very much. We got enough for... Got a couple. It's only 155 for each one. Actually, we got enough in here for a saddle, right? There we go. Make two of those. Let's put this back into the... Bookcase where it goes. That'll make it easier for moving them around base here. It's kind of the main thing. I need to make some more shotgun shells, too. Probably do that off camera. I need to do a bunch of farming 
You're ready. Fantastic. I need to get more meats. I need to get some other resources. I still need to get some more electronics. Probably not so much of those anymore. Let's get this sorted out here. We'll put... Female there. You're still mating. Ah, I didn't want to move the male while they're mating. It kind of messes it up. Let's move him over here to the middle. I think we can do like two or three of the females on each side. That'd be kind of sorted out there. Nice, man. Nice. I'm gonna give you some more meat, don't I? Give you some of mine. There we go. There we go. Drop all that back in there. Now we are kind of set. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Kind of a weird day. I normally don't do too much breeding on camera, but seeing as how it's all kind of vanilla and I haven't done it in a long time, I figured we'd go ahead and get some of the saber tooths kind of raised up together. We didn't get any mutations, and we didn't get the good colors mixed over, but we got all the good stats. That is the main thing. Now, like I said, I'm going to leave those guys kind of running. If we get some of the mutations or the colors, I'll definitely let you know in the next video. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little bit of saber breeding today. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.